Yow. Sugar baby, Sugar baby. nice whip, nice crib, nice crib. I want this, I want I that, want he that. give it to me. Testing, testing, testing. Hey honey, what's pop lock and dropping? It's your girl Elijah today. So I just got me a new camera as you can tell. Hopefully the quality speaks. <laughs> I'm still I don't even know how to use this camera I just turned it on real quick because I'm about to go get a wax and you know your girl wanted to um, you know take out with me so I got a g7x max 3 my baby got it for me I'm not even gonna call him my sugar daddy because he's not my sugar daddy. That's my baby. Okay, like I really fuck with him and he really fuck with me. So sometimes you just look up, you know. I feel like that's what the sugar baby game is all about, you know, to actually find someone who you hope that to find someone that you have real chemistry with. Um, my seatbelt. I feel like that's what it's all about to find someone that you really fuck with. And that could hopefully somebody that could take you out the game but don't don't always you know just sorry I'm looking at myself in the top when I should be looking at y'all you know I'm getting used to I'm getting used to it but don't always think you know it's all about getting over on people like you can't really find somebody out here who will take care of you in a sense you know of course not just you don't ever want to completely put all your dependency in a man well, I said that wrong. You don't want to be completely dependent on a man. You need to have your own money always at the end of the day. If anybody's doing anything for you, you need to invest it. But, you know, sometimes you do meet that one person that that's the only person you need. You don't really need anybody else. It'd be, I mean, how much money does a girl really, I mean, of course, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Of course, us as women need money because maintenance is a lot, you know, so... But still, as a woman, how much money do you really need, you know? So I had a vlog for y'all. I should have just finished editing it when I was going to, but I was just tired because I'd been flying all day, so I didn't get to edit. But, yeah, when I say, I had a whole vlog for y'all, I was almost done. And then I spilled pineapple juice on my phone, and my phone completely blacked out. And I don't even feel like going to try to get it fixed. Because I know once it's water damaged, you can't really fix it. Well, I'm going to see. I, don't, I haven't even called to ask, honestly. And I'm starving. I haven't ate yet. I don't have any groceries at the crib right now. I mean, I have Fruity Pebbles, but I don't have any milk. I got eggs, but no sides. So, but I'm about to head. And if you go and go, go, go and get my wax i'm about to get my belly waxed actually because i got my back wax my armpits wax and my brazilian wax and my belly's not like hairy hairy but you know how you have fine hairs on your stomach and you know honey it's not cute when i well i just started realizing them because i guess i've just been realizing my body a lot lately so i'm about to go get them them hairs waxed off and i will talk to y'all when i get there Hey y'all, so I'm here with my wax lady, Sonia. Y'all say hi to her. Hello, hi. Y'all can check her out. I'm gonna link her information in the description box. Y'all can come if you're in Dallas, Texas. She does a really good job and it's very affordable, so come check her out.
I'm getting me some taco cabana, honey. Taco cabana is so good. Ever since I ate it, I'm just like, why would I ever eat Taco Bell or Taco Bueno ever again? Makes no sense. So I'm about to go upgrade my phone to the new iPhone. I've had, this is the 11. I've had it for like three and a half, four years now, possibly. And I'm also gonna go get this little phone fixed that I have because I need a second line for my business. So that way when people are calling, you need something, customer service, I'm like, what's poppin' bitch? What you want? What's up, honey? It still works. It just um, <clears throat> needs a new screen to it. Three tacos. I had three chicken tacos with sour cream, no tomatoes. You repeated it to me right on the thing. Thank you. Is there hot sauce? Yeah, cool. Thank you. Let me head to my phone appointment. I have an appointment with T Mobile. to upgrade my phone I'm switching to T-Mobile they give you like an $800 credit or something like that if you switch to them because you know they bought out Sprint so but my boyfriend told me that that well they supposed to give you $800 off the phone but he said that they spread it out throughout your lease term or something like that <clears throat> But at the end of the day, he wants me to join his plan and we're going to do a family plan. Because if you do a family plan, it's like way cheaper. So we're going to see when I get there. I'm going to check in with y'all here in a minute. Alright y'all, so I didn't get to upgrade my phone because they didn't have the 13 in stock. And then they didn't have the 12 Max Pro Max. And it was just a whole bunch of shit. Like I literally just paid $500 for my phone line. And T-Mobile was talking about some, well, you can't come over because now you have to pay your, they're saying that I wouldn't be able to go over unless I pay my coming up bill. So it's like, dude, I just paid 300, just paid 500, that's 800. Now I have to pay more money just to switch over. I have to pay my bill, like upcoming bill. Like, dude, it's just so, I'm over this phone shit. That's why I wanna buy a phone, pay it out in full, and just pay for fucking service. Because it's just, buying a phone, leasing a phone is just like leasing a car. The interest rate is so fucking high. And it really is so frustrating because I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to quit spending so much money, but it's like, I can't, like, it's, it's. <sighs> So fucking frustrating like it's so frustrating because i can never just get a fucking break like i literally don't ever get a break i never get a fucking break so i'm probably just gonna go up to oakland and see if they have a special going on to where So 
I'm gonna get this shit figured out and I'm gonna check in with y'all later because I'm so frustrated right now. I can't think, I can't act right because I don't have, I'm not in the mood. So I'm gonna talk to y'all here later. done hanging up my leaves i hope y'all like them i think it gives it you know the outside area a nice little cute little vibe or whatever you know so some of y'all know some of y'all don't know i have been working getting my skincare line and my lip gloss line restocked Money busting out the money clip. Make a call it hit another lit. Yeah. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call it hit another lit. Someone get the money counter. I can keep a thumb in it. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call it hit another lit. Someone get the money counter. I can keep a thumb in it. Okay. I'ma hit for 20 off a laptop In a zoom meeting, making money is my backdrop Ballpoint bass hit harder than a slap shot Flew up my baby, told her me like I'm Epcot Whoa, whoa, I've been doing road on the go, go Get a bag and flip it, that's for sure Yeah, for show, sure, show. Sure. I was never talking about me Turn it down and go get you some money Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah Uh-oh I thought I met you at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight, ooh, girl Money coming, money go I've been at it I've been at it on the low Trapping out of where I live I keep seeing the leaders doing less We talking plans and maybe seeing you Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the cool. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my machine, shit. I've been really getting feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Taste toasted and be race soaked in the raincoat. Hit the waist quota, I'll be flossing. I'll be locked in. What's lost here? All that turned me to a target. And I'll be, I'll be cautious. Then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson I'm the man, now I got fans, now I'm on cam Now I got plans So that's why I haven't been posting and then I also my phone broke so I was not able to upload my vlog that I that I had ready for y'all was almost done with it and then I like literally I got pineapple juice um, I got pineapple juice on my phone and it completely blacked out so it was pretty much over with once you get water damage to your phone it's pretty much hard to fix after that so thankfully my sugar daddy i wouldn't really call him a sugar daddy i would more say that's my baby like we're friends 
like we I feel like he just really has my back and I have his too you know if he ever needs anything I got his back too but um, he was nice enough to get me a camera he ordered this camera for me and I thought that was very very sweet of him all I had to do was buy a SD card and a new battery Oh, I bought an extra battery because the batteries on these cameras they last you know a certain amount of time but you know sometimes I might need some more batteries so I bought another one but um yeah I had a whole vlog for y'all um I wanted to tell y'all why I went to Colombia so I had went to Colombia because one of my veneers had actually came off while I was eating with a friend I was eating a sandwich and it came off so I definitely had to go get it fixed because I was pissed I was honestly kind of upset because I was like a little worried like are the rest of them about to come off you know what's going on so thankfully he fixed it for free and you know I let him know I sent a picture I had a, a one-year warranty but I was still a little upset because I was like why are they coming off they shouldn't even be coming off it's barely been a year you know um, so I went there got it fixed it was literally just a day trip I went there and came right back to Dallas it was very exhausting and uh, I stayed at a really nice hotel for 80 bucks American dollars well $73 but a hotel like that would at least be like 150 to 200 out here excuse me my sinuses are just my sinuses are just really bad it's, it's getting on my nerves but yeah so I'm restocking and here I'll show y'all a little bit of my restock oh let me let it re let me let it focus so here's what I have we got these bottles we got these bottles here oh I'm gonna let it fall my lip glosses I got these these tubes and then my squeeze tubes which have my logo my my squeeze I got my logo sugar baby kisses on it And then I have some more down here, some more bottles. And then I have my Light Bright Agent and my masks. And then I have some more here. These are Light Bright Agents. And then the masks, um, my clay masks are in there. And then these are my little lip scrubs for my lip gloss kits. And, and then I'm also restocking the Punani machines. Also, the Punani machines are in here. Everything is getting restocked. It's a little messy. Just this area is messy. I'm going tomorrow to get my warehouse so all this stuff can go. I honestly haven't got my warehouse yet because I wanted to go ahead and make all my products here at home. That way, when I get to the warehouse, all I got to do is package my orders and get them ready there. And I kind of can get like a little feel of how my warehouse is going to be set up. So next restock, I will know how to prepare my, my skincare at my warehouse. But other than that, you know, the crib is really nice. I still haven't got my TV mounted. It's just been me and my dude tried to do it, but it just didn't work out. And then, of course, over here, those are going to go inside of my warehouse also and i'm really mad because i did a whole unboxing for my rose forever i did a whole unboxing for rose forever but it was on my phone so my phone that broke in columbia so i literally lost all the footage of me opening this and everything but rose forever sent me these roses here so I'm going to email them and let them know that I really apologize for the unprofessional unboxing of this but Rose Forever sent me these and I will link 
all of their information in the description box as you all know these roses last you for up to one year and they are great price these are really cute for a gift for your girl you can even get blue ones for your guy you know if you just want to spice his crib up a little bit so i get so huge shout out to rose forever thank you thank you thank you so much for sending me these roses and also i really do apologize that i lost the footage of me opening up this package because it was really nice i did it perfect so i definitely apologize for that my lubitons so i don't wear my lubitons i only worn them one I've only worn my Louboutins one time, mainly because the bottom, when you walk on the ground, the bottom scrapes off. And I was like, honey, that's what we're paying for is the red bottom. So these are cherry red bottoms and I don't ever wear them. They're just on display. I like to see my money hanging. So my money is right there for now. So yeah, honey, that's what I've been doing. Let me go back out here and smoke the rest of my hookah because I do want to relax. I've been running around like literally all day getting this camera stuff set up. Like getting a new phone is the last of my worries right now. I'm worried about restocking my business, getting my warehouse, all of that. And once I get all that, then I will totally worry about, you know, getting a new phone. But right now I'm cool. I got my new camera. I just want to take selfies and stuff and pictures on my phone, but I guess I'll have to just suffice for now. So I'm going to relax and remake my labels and I'll check in with y'all later. Hey honeys, what's pop lock and drop and it's your girl Melada today checking in with y'all. So I just woke up not too long ago. Well, I actually woke up a long time ago. <laughs> Why am I lying? And my store just got restocked. I just restocked all of my store, my lip glosses, and my skincare line. I'll be restocking my wigs later on. But yeah, so go check that out. Everything is honey perfect. Amazing for your skin, Punani area, all of that. Go check that out for sure. And any order over $60, I'll throw in a free product. And then, all of my products are tax free right now so go check that out honey don't play with me and i'm right now about to get in the shower and then i'm gonna go i'm waiting for my man to text me back and let me know if they want to have a kickback here at my crib he didn't want to go to this playboy party that they're having and i have a nice poker room here at my apartment so i was gonna see if they just wanted to you know come here shoot dice all cook get some drinks and bite some pretty girls over and we can just you know relax but until he answers me and lets me know um i'm actually going to go and oh honey my hair i'm actually going to go ahead and take a shower and then um see about getting a storage unit for all these boxes in my living room because i need to get these boxes out and uh, you know how things go so yeah i'm gonna check in with y'all here in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and get my dirty butt in the shower What's pop lock and dropping y'all so right here i will be using my handmade all organic skincare line from punani box of course you can use it on any parts of your skin this right here is my healing potion i don't like to start off wetting my face with water i feel like that gets in between you know it like kind of um blocks what you should be doing with your skin because not all faucet water is clean so i like to go in there and wet my face first with my healing potion all my ingredients are on my website the link is in the description box every single one of my products has unique ingredients you will literally not see anyone using the same concoction that i have used all of my ingredients are exotic natural and effective my skincare line is the only thing i use and so next i'm going to go in with my royal foaming cleanser this one they are both 50 millimeters the potion and the cleanser 
and as you can see honey it's gonna do its job it's nice it foams it lathers and it has peppermint and cedarwood essential oils in it so it is very like minty like once you put it on you could just feel your face freshen up your pores opening up and getting all of that dirt out of there again all of my ingredients will be in the description box and you just want to scrub 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 honey i usually like to get my exfoliation gloves to do it but i did not have them at the time so i was just using my hands i have to get me some new gloves and as you can see it does lather but it is lathering in with the potion so it's a little bit of a darker lather but i also use my cleanser on my punani area and as you can see honey what's popping okay what's popping okay them, them pores is cleaned on out honey and then next what you want to do is go in there with your holy toner i call it holy toner because it has holy basil in it and then the toner is good for getting the excess dirt off of your skin so i'm going to go ahead and get the excess dirt off and it also closes your pores back up and then next we want to go in there with the exfoliator okay my queen bee exfoliation scrub it's a sugar scrub i hand me myself honey go check out the ingredients because they are popping okay baby don't play with me now this scrub also you want to use on your punani area everything that i'm using you want to use on your punani area as well a lot of people's punani area does not look very tasty or edible because a lot of people don't think that they have to take care of that skin down there that skin down there is almost like an armpit okay you know how your armpits closed in your punani is closed in also your legs is you're constantly walking skin is constantly rubbing so you have to take care of that area and here is my natural light bright agent this is not a bleaching agent but it does get rid of discoloration blemishes scars I handmade it myself because I got into a car wreck and check that out <laughs> check that out so it goes on nice and clear and that's how it will dry and then right here is my mask my rich biatch energy mask i call it rich biatch energy mask because it's rich with 39 superfoods probiotics vitamin a and e well e and c excuse me girl <laughs> but yes honey go check out my rich bitch energy mask it has so many superfoods and it's really good for your skin it is a clay mask and then once you are done honey you gotta moisturize and i don't like to use lotion on my face because i don't know why i just be breaking out when i use all these cheap lotions and stuff so i have to come out with my own moisturizer and this is an amazing moisturizer i have no cheap oils in here i don't use grapeseed oil coconut oil autumn little cheap oils no honey we got Marenka oil, hemp seed oil, rose hip oil, aloe vera gel, okay, lemongrass essential oil, and camphor oil essential oil. And then right here is my Punani machine. Now the Punani machine is great for after you have intercourse after you get off your period some of us develop some cream inside of our punani and we need to cleanse it out look at that honey come on out of there get on out of there oh get it up in there and stick it in there and it's gonna clean you right out don't play with me oh and then i'm gonna finish off by moisturizing my beautiful fat sausage lips okay honey we cannot be dry because you know we like to get them lips sucked on both lips okay <laughs> I think I forgot my underwear in his car last week. What if his dad finds them? Damn, maybe you should ask him to get them back. Or oh, wait, isn't his dad the headmaster at school? Oh my god. I'm the cool kid from the back, yeah. I'm the one calling all the shots, shots, shots. Whether you're ready or not, yeah. I'm but too plenty, drop, drop, drop. Go left, go right, waking up my appetite. Hey, what's pop like and dropping y'all? It's your girl Melinda today. 
checking in with you or we just got done getting ready check out my dress i got on some stilettos i'm with my girl diana so what y'all don't know is diana's a spoiled brat okay she is super spoiled y'all can check her out on instagram at diana marquez and she's a laser technician. She's already been to med spa. So she's gonna help me go get, you know, do my little thug thizzle or whatever. So I really fuck with her. So check her out. And we're about to go to Deep Ellum. We just got done getting dressed. So we're gonna do some shots. <clears throat> come on, camera, come on, focus, focus. Okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, we're gonna have... Okay, so we're getting a shot. Okay, that's mine. We look so cute, y'all. We probably shouldn't even wear these heels to deep them, but it's okay. We're gonna do our thug fizzle, period. Does that one look yep. shot? I think this one is mine. Is that one we yours no, no, lipstick? That's mine. Okay, yeah, but <clears throat> cheers to being rich, beautiful, wealthy, and good friendships and good vibes and yes. good free with good good frequencies. Yes. Cheers. You're good? You don't want a taser? I'm good. See, y'all know she crazy. I'm an alcoholic. She's an Aries, so she's I'm really an tough. Alcoholic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Deep Ellum, so. We don't work. My canister's in the car. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. We drink a lot, but that's what we do. So let's go. We don't work, honey. I mean, I do work, but it's not hard work. We you feel like work. I just. I just fill bottles up and eat. Come to the reality, we don't work. Sure don't. Y'all, Diana, y'all need to follow her. Diana Marquez. Let her know Malai just sent you. That way she can accept your friend request because her page is private. And just literally go on her page and just scroll. Just keep scrolling. And then you will get the vibe and you will understand. Ooh, Yo, period. 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 And not only that, you will start to realize the nigga that you fucking has been treating you like shit. <laughs> Because, honey, even me, when I be going on her page, like, y'all know I get spoiled. But I get spoiled in a different way she gets spoiled. Like, I get spoiled. Men just give me big amounts of money and go about their way. She gets spoiled in the sense of a man actually shows her that, yo, like, a man gave me $40,000 to never want to fuck with me again. Like, he gave me $40,000 and we don't even fuck with each other. He was, he's just, that's, you know, rich men do crazy things. But... Her man spoils her, loves her, cares about her. He sends her flowers like every week, gets her whatever she wants to get, pays her rent. This bitch drives crazy, wrecks her cars all the time. And it doesn't matter because she's gonna wreck it and he's gonna buy her a new one. So, <laughs> this girl is spoiled as fuck. And then not only that, she's also professional. She's very professional, which is why. Smart. Yeah. Super smart, which is why I want her to be my little assistant for my things. So I feel like I can go far with this shit. And I, who wouldn't hire a bad bitch to you shoot their films? You learn from me, yes. And then I got her with me too. I knew we couldn't get this money. That's all, period. <laughs> Oh. 
Hey honey, this was pop lock and dropping. It's your girl Melada today. So checking in with you. It's the next day. As you can see, I had an epic night. I have one eyelash on, one eyelash off. You know, mask on, mask off. It is what it is. So we had a great night last night, kind of. My baby Diana didn't have such a good night. Liquor can sometimes mess things up, especially if you don't have all your shit together as far as like just being aware, aware of things. Poor Diana lost her Louis Vuitton bracelet last night. We don't know how we, how she lost it. Um, <clears throat> but she got to the car and realized it wasn't on. So of course she freaked out because her boyfriend just got it for her and it was a really expensive, well, I mean a really expensive bracelet. And I lost my Cartier watch like a week or so ago. My bus down Cartier, I lost it. I don't know where it is. I'm not irresponsible, so I know what she feels like. But at the end of the day, it's jewelry and we can always get it back. Um, talking about jewelry, I need to go in here and see if I have my jewelry. Because I don't remember what I did with my chains last night. I mean, I remember, but I... I remember, but I don't remember. Okay, I got my chains, so that's good. Oh my gosh. You see my point? I don't know. Why do I keep losing my fucking watches? Like, where is my watch at? I'm about to be really pissed off if I can't find my watch. All right, y'all, so, girl, let me take this eyelash off. Oh my goodness. Like, and I spilled my highlighter on the floor. This is why I'm not drinking today, because when you drink and get drunk, things just mess up. I'm tired of it. We don't have time for mess ups, you know. Girl, let me take this damn eyelash off. Voila. And remember, don't snatch them off, rub them off. I use hair glue, so of course I use my hair glue remover to take off my eyelashes. And honey, I missed y'all so much. I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. It's only been like maybe two, three weeks, but it's for a good cause because I, hold on, been getting my stuff together for my business you know so i haven't had time to and not even that i told y'all you know i lost all the footage to my last vlog so i would already had a vlog up so yeah and i have a couple promotions that i have to do for people a couple promos and i also have a really dope gig coming up soon sorry i look pretty but yeah, so I'm honestly finna relax. I'm gonna smoke, chill, and rejuvenate. Because I smoke, I, we didn't go to sleep till like 6 a.m. Which is cool. You know how things go when you're having a girl's night out. Oh, and y'all, I found my watch. It was in the car. So I was really gonna be pissed off about this watch. Even though this watch is old, ugly, beat up. I've had this watch for five years. I'm sentimental. I'm a cancer. And I would fuck the bus down Cartier. My my man will give me another one. But um that watch, no, that watch has a lot of meaning about like meaning to me. And so yeah. But check out Papa Cairo. Isn't he the cutest thing in the world? Poppy, really that's how you're gonna look at him. Do you see why I'm in love? Why? Why would you sit like that? You're so cute. Oh no, cover your penis. They cannot see that. They cannot see that. 
<laughs> but all right y'all i'm actually gonna go ahead and close out this vlog probably maybe not i don't know uh, i don't know what the fuck that was i'll talk to y'all later Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.